The opposite is true. Three games clear on top of the table, a massive percentage, and today they're looking for 14 straight victories, and almost certainly the minor premiership. In right, and Otten's are back. Much loved in these parts now. Geelong, can they win their first premiership since 63? They're well on the way. Sunday football, Geelong and Adelaide. Found his target to Johnson, comes across to Bartell. Who's marked directly in front, 35 metres out. Jimmy Bartell having a wonderful season. I know he's one of your favourites, Dennis. A moment ago, at that first centre bounce, Scotty Thompson looked like he was going to clear the centre bounce and kick the ball for. It was Bartell who actually put himself on top of his boots, smothered it, forced the stoppage, and then out of the corner of his eye, he just saw Stevie Johnson take control of the ball, ran into that space. He can do it all, James Bartell. Eighth man taken in that great draft of 2001, directly behind Ashley Sampy. Actually, that wasn't a draft, it was a Texas tornado. Bartell, beautiful. style of football. Here's Bartell actually got the ball out to Corey in the first place. That's what I highlighted at the start of the game, just how good they are at clearing the ball from the clearances. I like the way Johnson does this. He's always on the move. He makes something happen. He's not always quite sure what he's going to do, but it forces the players down the field to move and makes the opposition defence also uncomfortable. Free again. Stokes now comes back to Bartell. He's got time to measure. Not a great kick because Bock and Stevens have read it pretty well and Bock rushes it through. Creates some space, Bartell. Gee, been in everything so far. Jimmy goes short and finds Johnson. Ball about 15 metres out from goal. Well worked by the Crows. Well, momentarily, Selwood, Bartell, seventh possession, wonderful goal. He's my Brownlow man. coming off the ground too he and Shirley were engaged in a wrestling competition off to the side of that stoppage but they've just got so much power around the ball Geelong and that's been a hallmark of the way they've played all year they've got incredible depth in their midfield blokes now who've been around a while they've played 100 games they've got the body they've got the capabilities endurance wise to be able to run out a full game of football and they are much fitter unit than what they were last year too and he's happy with that Jimmy Burns wins it Kick to Bartell. Oh, he's got some party tricks, hasn't he? And then Bartell oh. goes bang! Lace out! Oh, desperate tacklers. And this is a beautifully weighted kick to Mooney. Well, he's putting Gary Ablett in the shade at the moment, Bartell, and that's not Ooh. easy to do, is it? Just for the moment. And Selwood drives it home. On the lead. Make it 11. Thompson towards the middle, oh, well, not the spot for it. Bartell, surrounded by Crows. Bartell, another possession. He must wake up in the morning when there's a forecast of rain and you couldn't wipe the smile off with a parking ticket. Missing Johnson, but he was able to get it to Bartell. Gill was oh. very, very good. Bartell, well, he did well too. Yeah. Back to so that's a bonus. He wanted to give off Perry, but decided not to. Bartell again, that's a bad miss after a very clever mark. Bartell's been wonderful. Finds Mackey. Clever kick to Mackey. There's Bartell from half back. Just a bad break there for Adelaide. Poor Pleasia. And Enright made them pay in the end. Corey got it to Bartell, to Johnson. Did very well, was clever. And there's a lovely kick to Mooney. Running hard. Well, that was brilliant. A touch of genius. We give him the benefit of the doubt. Yeah. Such an accomplished first-year player. And they shouldn't be afraid to go for it now, Adelaide, either. They've got a five-on-five five in their forward line. So Bartell. He's getting close to that mark of 30 that Dennis talked about. He's up to 28. Locked up with Stokes, getting back and picking it up, Tawny. Taking a full revolution by Bartell. John Cock tried to knock it out. Jimmy got it. And Zerton actually missed an easy one in the third. And Poplesia missed a couple. Anyway, it's a behind. Bartell. Big disposal, man. And that's the area of his game, which is uh, below par. Another poor kick on Nathan Ablett. He hasn't kicked more than one goal in a game since round seven. And he's only average. Well, Bartell is the number one player, in my mind, on the ground today. Had 31 disposals. Corey has been magnificent. 11 clearances. John Cox had 30 touches, too. And I've just loved the work of Selwood.
to Bartel. How many has he got? He's got 35. Yep. Well, he slaughtered that uh, first time to 30. Varco getting better. And a stellar year. And Geelong make it 14 straight. He is an illustrious company. Not Corey Enright, but Mark Blummer Thompson. Not many coaches. Here's our man, Jimmy. He's down there with Rick Olerenshaw. Yeah, I'm with Jimmy. He'll probably stare yourself some more brown love votes today. When the rain came down this morning, you must have been wrapped. Yeah, I wanted to, it wasn't bad with the rain because we wanted to play the game in a contest and whenever it's wet, you know, the game's always like that. And that's one thing we do admire about your midfield. You always put your nose over the footy when it's your turn. Yeah, it's become a sort of a, uh, if you want to play on this side, you've got to put your head over it when it's your turn because it's a lot of blokes in the VFL are doing the same thing. Yeah, there's a lot of pressure coming from underneath, isn't there, for your spot? Yeah, the boys are second or first on the ladder. They're all cracking in, so everyone's got pressure on every position. Great game today, mate. Well done, Jimmy. So, mate. I think Rick could have told him I'd given him the brown light this afternoon, but he neglected to do that. What a good performance. I don't think...